All right, so my computer uh, needed a restart. So we are back again with that. This equipment, this high-end recording, 4K, and this setup, this is definitely giving my computer a take, and it's taking it not nicely. Hey there, everyone. Hitesh here, back again with another video. Welcome to the React Native series. We are having fun by building mobile apps. I hope you are following along with the series, and we have already hit that subscribe button. And a big shout out and a thanks to our sponsor, Hashnode. More about them in the later on part of the videos. But this is what we have built so far. So this is looking fantastic. We have learned so much in this. Like we have gone through with the cards, especially code with the Flexbox. Some of the scrolling of the cards. We have these uh, uh, cards that we build up. Then we learned about the links and clickable. Uh, just I restarted the computer. That's why the Metro is not connected. That's why we'll come back onto this one. We don't need it right now. We'll definitely connect and uh, try to restart the app and everything later on. Right now, we don't need it. What we'll be doing in this one, I've already created an empty file, which is contact list because I had to restart the computer. So this is the second take of the video. So in this one, we will explore a little bit more. I agree that I initially said that we'll just focus on the styling. I tried my best to keep our attention and focus 80 to 90% on just styling. But I also introduced you a tiny bit more like touchable opacity, linkings and deep linkings and where you can study them through the official documentation. Now, further down the road, what I want to do in this one is simply to get a little bit more out of this section, which is how we can loop through an array and can create a list. Now, surely you can have a regular scroll view list or you can have a flat list as well that we'll have eventually in the series itself. But right now the focus is how can I have a simple array? Now eventually that array might, might come up from the database or via an API call or something like that. But this will give you a brief idea of how this can be done. So go ahead, create a new file which says contactlist.tsx and we're gonna create rnfs. Yep, that's what we have. So contact list is being created. Now, there is nothing special about this contact list. This is absolutely basic that we have, but I'll just add a simple array. Now, adding this array, just come into the contact list, just above the return, hit enter, and just write this one. So what we have is I have created a contact list. This is an array, an array of an object. So we have multiple objects available up here. I'll show you what is there inside each object. But right now, it is very important that we understand the fundamental foundation of what the data structure is. Now, this is not a computer coding, but this is a basic data structure that, hey, we have an array and inside an array, each element is there. So once I'm able to pull out each element, I can use a dot notation to access that element. For example, if I open up this one uh, here, we can see the UID is being given. So we have a UID from one to four. And we have on the third number, Sanket Singh. Uh, he makes uh, he works at Google and he, here is a Google account. GitHub account of him. Uh, he is a very fellow, a very good fellow instructor who helps me to uh, teach a lot of people about the web dev. Similarly, we have Anurag who also helps me to teach a lot of students. And we have Anirudh who is helping me in creating this series. So a big shout out to Anirudh uh, for helping me in putting out these uh, courses, these projects and a whole lot of that. All right. So we will be learning about how we can actually uh, go ahead and use them. It's really, really simple that we'll be using. So how can we do this? We'll keep this view, the outside of the view. It's always a good idea to wrap everything around the view. It gives you a little bit more control over that. Now, once you are inside this, we'll be creating a simple text and let's go ahead and give it a style. And we'll be creating a styles like this. So we'll say styles dot, you get the idea, heading text. <coughs> there we go. We'll simply copy this heading text and just like always, we'll focus on the styling part a little bit later. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have another of this text. And uh, what we'll be doing is uh, not the another one. We'll have simply a scroll view. Now, you can have a scroll view or you can also have a flat list. We will talk about the flat list later on. This time, this is not a good time to actually introduce this one. So we'll have a scroll view. There we go. And in the scroll view, you have a lot of options that you can pass on. Let me show you a couple of options that we'll be using. First, obviously, the style. Uh, nothing fancy about it. So we'll be just saying styles uh, dot container. So we are actually using it just as container. Let's come back here. Container. If I can write that. There we go. Now, there are a couple of more properties, just like I showed you that these scroll views can have a horizontal or vertical. Uh, you can also control their scroll enable properties. Usually by default it is enabled, but maybe for some reason you want to use it just as a container. You can mark it as false like we'll be doing in this case. 
And surely you can turn it on and try to see what effect it does and how it works and all of that. So that is all basic. Now, uh, coming up onto this one. Now here, I want to inject some JavaScript. This is how you loop through any element. Now we can loop through just by having a text or anything, but we'll be creating a little bit more complex and a better UI than this because you have now an understanding of this one. So I'll just name the contacts. This is exactly the contacts that I'm having. So I'll just minimize this. So we have this contacts. And this contact, you can loop through with a variety of ways. You can use for loop or something, but you'll notice that in such UI element, the map is your best friend. So go ahead and use a map. In the map, we actually automatically loop through each element and you can pass on a function in that here. So what we'll be doing is we'll be going like this. This is looping through each element. Now, this is a point where you need to pay a little bit attention. You can always, in the return of the callback, you can use curly braces or you can use the parentheses. When you use parentheses, you don't need to return a value. That means you don't need to write a keyword of return. But if you use these curly braces, then obviously you have to return an element and you have to go through like this. So this is a shortcut. A lot of people make a mistake around it. So in case you are uh, connected with us on Discord or something, make sure you pay special attention on this one. This is a common point of mistake. A lot of people does that. Okay. Now here I'll come and here each element is there, but I would love to destructure them directly because I know inside this contact, each of the element have the properties, UID, name, status, and image URL. So instead of uh, having a dot notation of each of them, we will destructure them directly. Again, if you don't want to destructure, call them as item and then call each one of them item.uid, uh, item.uid, uh, item item.name and all of that. But in case you don't want to do it, you can destructure it directly. And we'll be simply going and say UID. Then we have name and we have status and we have image URL. So these are exactly there. Make sure you don't make any typos or something. So this is what we have. Now that we have all these elements available to us, now we want to loop through them. So we'll just hit come up here and we'll hit enter. This is the syntax. Again, you don't need to write a return keyword, but you are, if you are using curly braces, then make sure you use the return. Now I can go ahead and simply use a view uh, just like this. And this is absolutely a, absolutely a runnable code right now. It will not print anything, but all the minimum satisfiability is there. That is all there available to us. All right. Now in this view, the first thing that you're going to notice is key. Now key is obviously a very big and long concept in the React itself. The same concept goes in the React Native itself. It is for the performance purposes. How does React actually know or the React Native actually knows that you are not looping through the same element again and again? And there's a lot of big algorithms and a lot of uh, detailed study that can be done. Uh, but right now you need to know that we want to just load up in the memory each of the individual and unique element. That is why it increases the performance. You should always have this and make sure you are having an element which can be used for uniqueness. Uh, usually UID or maybe database ID or something is used in this case. Uh, also, apart from this, I'll be using a style here uh, that doesn't exist, but we will use it later on. So we'll be saying styles dot user card. Well, C can be capital. There we go. Obviously, we'll copy this and we'll come up here, paste it like that. There we go. Nice and easy. Nothing, no problem at all. Now, inside this view, we have done this. Now we can iterate over the elements and all of these things. First thing that we are going to grab is image. <coughs> And we'll be having a self-closing image. Hopefully it loads it up. Uh, nope. Yeah, image is there. Okay, it is yelling at us because we haven't given it in a source. So let's go ahead and give it a source. And we'll be saying, hey, inside this source, uh, we'll be giving you a URI. Oops, URI, just like that. And this will be coming up from image URL. Come on, why does it? Image URL, there we go. So it should be all happy, but obviously it needs some styling as well. So there we go. We'll be saying styles dot, and let's call this one as user image. Obviously user image doesn't exist. And we'll be saying user image. Just like that. There we go. All right. So we have now a couple of things remaining, which is the name and the status. Uh, we obviously want to keep it inside the view because this is exactly what we are looping through. So image is there. Now let's have a simple text. We of course can modify it however I like. So I'll have a text and this one will have a JavaScript. So I'll just go ahead and say name. I'll duplicate this one and I'll say here we can go ahead and say uh, status. 
obviously we want to provide some styling so we'll be going ahead and say style that is going to be uh styles oops styles dot and we'll be calling this one as user name and the bottom one we're going to call this one as a uh, user status obviously we don't have it as of now that is why it is giving us some problem but no worries we are habitual of it and this one should be user status there we go oops and it should be all happy all right so we have seen that it is not really tough to actually loop through any element now this element could be coming up from uh, just like a static value here that we have or it can be dynamic coming up from an api call or something we'll definitely have a lecture on that that how we can have the api calls and everything but this is all we have and we definitely can actually uh, run it on the android and yep on the android please run it this is not gonna take too much of the time and hopefully very soon it will be connected to this in the meantime i hope that there is not much of a big issue it should be there we go uh, no problem at all surely it's not gonna look absolutely beautiful it would look absolutely horrific uh, but still it will do the job oh we forgot to actually import the contact list uh, that's a nice catch we forgot to import it into app.tsx below the action card or let's have it above the action card and we'll have the contact list there we go save that and there we go uh this is not looking really good not even a tiny bit good uh we can go back up here and at least can have a user image uh, we can provide some height to the user image to at least see that yeah the image is actually loading up let's provide it a width and height so user image let's give it a width of 60 a 60 width of 60 i'll also give it a height as, as well height will be of 60 since the height and width is 60 let's give it a border radius as well now let's first save this one so we have all of this uh coming up nicely but what we can do is we can also give it a border radius now we obviously know that if i want to make it circle i can give it a of uh, something like a uh, 30 but if we can have we can actually use these properties by declaring them into a global variable and call it a by two or we can just simply go ahead and use a mathematical operation by two anyways you have to half the width so that that is the whole idea and now we have these nice and circular obviously it is not looking the way we want it to look but that's a good start as of now you have learned how we can loop through the values now one interesting thing is i can just go ahead and cut this out uh, this will still refresh and it will still work but it will give you just a warning and we know that warning actually makes our code run it doesn't bother us but it gives that each child should have a unique uh, element and if you go into this console log warning they also tell you that each child should have a unique key you can also read here about why it should have about the warning the keys and all of that so i'll just move it back just to show you that yes this keys should be there otherwise you'll face a warning and these are important uh, important aspect and important part of looping through any elements in the react and in the world of react native hope this was an enjoyable session for you hope you have already hit that subscribe and i am assuming that by putting so much of effort you actually realize the effort that is going on behind the series and you are actually sharing this series on linkedin and everything it makes me super happy it gives me a confidence that yes i'm teaching to the right audience every single individual is there to learn and he's sharing me and uh, putting a nice word about the effort. That's all for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.